All right, what's up, y'all? This is my uh, my modeling wrapped for 2023. This is all the modeling and like entertainment jobs I did uh, in 2023. And uh, Koala Beanie available now, swagnightmare.com. Go get yours for pre-order. Okay, so I am a full-time model and influencer, and it is my job. So, Carrington, what have you done last year? Why do you say that? Well, this is what I did last year, and I'm just sharing with you guys what a year looks like, you know, um, I want to first start off by saying that everyone's experience in modeling is completely different. Um, some people, some models might do a lot of runway. Some might, you know, only do like a lot of e-commerce, um, or commercial stuff, whatever. Um, I do a lot of commercial stuff. Uh, I am not really, um, I haven't really done a lot of runway. I've probably done three jobs my whole life, but I just want to, um, share with you guys what I did in my year modeling. Um, so, okay, let me just get into it. So to start off the year, I did like three jobs for hot topic. Now hot topic is, or was, uh, my first modeling full-time, uh, client. Um, I modeled for them first in 2021 and I was so jazzed because it was my first job that I got when I signed in LA and I got to work with Hot Topic and I'm like, oh my God, I love Hot Topic. I go there the first time and um, I, uh, I go there the first time and I do the job and I was like, I had just started on social media and I was like, yo guys, um, you guys do social media? Like me being a little hustler, I was like, yo, you guys like, who's a social media lady? Like I'd love to work with you guys. I've never done a deal in my life and I was just like, all right, I do social media, like let's try. Uh, didn't find, like, couldn't, that person wasn't at the office or whatever. So I was like, all right, well then I get booked for another job, maybe a month later or something like that. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm getting another modeling job. Like this is insane. Uh, this, so this is keep in mind, this is 2021 when I just started and I was like, holy shit, I'm really doing it. And the person was there and I was like, yo, this is me, blah, blah, blah. Here's my account and all that stuff. And like, I feel that at that point I would still like talk to people now on set about like social media stuff. I at least try and bring it up, not to brag, but I do it to, um, I do it to try and like put myself out there for the person and be like, yo, like let's work. You know what I mean? Whatever. Um, so I did that and then, yeah, so whatever beginning of the year, I did three e-com jobs for hot topic. That was cool. Then I did, I would say the next job I did was this brand Prana P R A N A. I did this band Prana in San Diego and that job was nice because they booked me in a, they put me in a hotel and I got to drive out there and I was with my girlfriend at the time and drove out there and got to stay in a little hotel. I got a little drunk the night before and then showed up to the job and it was good and I drove back to LA the next day. So that was great. They were super friendly and they had a cool office and lunch was good. Um, that's the thing. The biggest win for modeling is the, the free food. Okay. Next was, I think, let me look. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do a whole lot of jobs this year. Next was uh, Armani Beauty. Um, so I did something with Armani. And that was on this rooftop of this, like, parking garage. And that was a cool job. I don't know if they've released the photos. You know, there's always a possibility that, like, you could do a modeling job. And, and like, the, the pictures will never re release. Or, like, B, you'll just never see the photos, and that's been true for a lot of my jobs. I don't, I have not seen the pictures for so many jobs I've done. But um, I worked with Armani, and that was cool. Everyone there was like French, and they were uh, like all speaking in French, and they were like, blah, 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 and like it was cool, and everyone's really nice, and they killed it with the snacks. It was a very high production, uh, a high cost, a high production set. Like, they got like the nicest snacks and all this stuff. They call it crafty in the modeling world or in the entertainment world. It's called crafty. Um, and you do all that. And, or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just stupid. Um, and then that was cool. And I got to shoot on this rooftop. And I, they would like shine the, the, like this mirror. So like the sunlight would be like hitting my face. And I was like walking around like crying, like trying to take this photo in the suit. That was cool. Next. Oh, um, this brand called uh, Sushi Club. I worked for uh, Beverly Hills Sushi Club. That was a cool job because the clothing was just dope. It was just super minimalistic, like nice clothes, 
super clean. I love sushi. It was made. That's like uh, the brand, like Nobu, like that's their clothing brand. Like this guy who works with the founder of Nobu, like makes this clothing brand with them. And the coolest thing about that shoot was like, I got to shoot with these diamond encrusted chopsticks. That was gnarly. Okay. That was super gnarly. That brand was super cool. Uh, yeah. So shout out to, um, to that brand. I really like that brand. I actually, I actually really like that brand. Those are probably some of my favorite photos I've ever done. They're very minimalistic. Next. Oh, I think before that I did a Pepsi commercial. Was that, that was last year, right? Yeah, I did a Pepsi commercial last year. Um, so that was cool. I, so that was actually, so the way I got my Pepsi commercial is, um, I should make a whole video on it because I bet you people would watch it. Um, the way I got my Pepsi commercial was that, uh, that was an acting job. Like that was like, so I, I have a modeling agency, but I also have an acting agency or an acting manager and a commercial manager. So modeling is for a photo and all that stuff. Acting is for acting, you know, TV, film, whatever. And then commercial is for commercials, like actual commercials. And a lot of that now is like digitized, digital. Um, so that's why the thing I did ran like on like Twitter and social media and all that stuff. And I, uh, 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 I so had, so like I got sent that as an audition. So I was like, Hey, Carrington audition for Pepsi. And I was like, okay, dope. Um, so I go and I uh, do the audition and I was just very like, like, yeah, I'm going to get a Pepsi commercial. Like, oh yeah, for sure. So I just kind of, just like, kind of like about it. I was like, all right, let me just like be myself. And then, so I ended up getting that and I did that and that was a really cool experience. And it's also just really good for my reel. So that was good. That I did. Um, then I did, what was next? I think I did forever 21 this year as well, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I did forever 21. Maybe it was last year. I think it was this year. Um, did forever 21. Actually. Yeah. I think it was this year Forever 21. Okay. Anyway, so I did that. That was digitals. Then, um, was a uh, shout out for 21 and then was, I think PacSun. So then I worked with PacSun and that was a cool job because it was honestly really light work. I mean, I, um, I pull up there and it was like, you know, five people on set, everyone's super nice. And I see the clothes and it's like a bunch of one piece stuff. I'm like, and I would had just started watching one piece. I'm like, am I shooting in like the one piece thing? And this is when it was dropping for Netflix too. So I was like, what is going on here? And I'm like, hell yeah. Like I was shooting one piece. So yeah, I was like, you know, I, if you saw that ad, that's what's up. I mean, I was jazzed about that. That was super cool. Shout out PacSun a hundred percent. You guys are awesome. Um, so I shot in that and that, I'm thinking about that now. I'm happy I did that. That was cool that I did that. And I'm very blessed to get able to do that because it was really out of nowhere. And it was a big deal because that the, it was coming out on Netflix. So like Netflix, so One Piece was getting some hype. I'm like, your boy was in those photos. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that was cool. Next was, oh, okay. So then next was, and this is all like, as I'm saying all this, this is all like months, weeks in, like, this is not like, Hey, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know what I mean? It was like, did the job, like pfft, nothing happened in my life for a month. You know what I mean? And then I did a job. So like, it sounds cool. Like in, in retrospect, like a year later, I'm like, damn, I worked a lot last year. I did not feel like, damn, I worked a lot. I felt like, damn, should I go back to school? Never doing that. Uh, I would only do that to, well, I'm not going to talk about that. I was going to say, I should, only, I would only do that to actually learn about something. Like if I actually wanted to like, Oh, I actually would like to learn about this thing. Then I would do that. And not in terms of making money. Um, okay. So next was, uh, a, 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 did I do Korea last year? Did I go to Korea last year? No, that's 2022. No, 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 no. Um, then I went to, but, but, I was going to go, ba 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 and I was like, what the fuck kind of history teacher ass? Um, <laughs> all right. Then, then I, uh, then I did a Samsung campaign. So that was cool. So that was through my New York agency. And I, uh, I, uh, got flown out to, um, to, um, New York to work for Samsung. And that's cool because I worked with Samsung in 2022. I got, that's when I got, uh, flown out to Korea for five days. That 
I love it. I love it. I love Korea. It was a wonderful job. It was a wonderful experience. So cool. But so I got to work for Samsung again this year. So I did a campaign for Samsung. I did, it was me with a couple other guys. The one guy I worked with was so cool. I'm like, I don't, I don't talk to him, but he's cool. And he, he kills it as a model. He just crushes it. Um, and I got to do that Samsung campaign. And that was good. I was definitely doing my thing. I mean, first of all, when I'm going to these jobs, you know that I'm like, I'm stunting on these jobs. Like, I'm like, I'm doing the most because I'm like, I just love, I love modeling. It's just like, they put me in front of the camera. I'm like, let's go. This could be me. And then let's say they say action. Like, I put that shit on. Um, so, killed it in that. And that was also, uh, so yeah, I, I, I didn't see that, but that was airing all around Asia. Like, I had a friend go to Thailand and she was like, there's like billboards and shit. And I'm like, oh my God, but you know, I'm just that guy. So that was amazing. Shout out Samsung, work with them twice. I really want to work with them this year on a real brand sponsorship. Pray for me for on that. Let's manifest Carrington gets a Samsung partnership. I love Samsung. That's awesome. They're amazing. Okay, and then we're getting to the end of it. So then I did, uh, oh, and then I did, uh, so before that I did a, a, N a NYX campaign, NYX. So I did, a, that's a makeup brand. And I worked a couple days on that. And that was amazing, just doing makeup stuff, going like, working for duck lip stuff. So that's actually the stuff that I'm sharing right now that they just released. Um, I did that, and uh, that was great. Um, NYX is just an amazing, amazing brand. The people there are so nice and friendly. I honestly can't say enough lovely things about those people. NYX is truly a wonderful brand. I loved every second of working with them. Shout out NYX. They're amazing. They're so nice and I love them. I worked for them. It was And the food was just out of control. Like that, that is a bomb. NYX is an amazing client. Uh, and I worked with them twice this year. I was lucky enough to work with them twice. I worked with them again a couple months later and again, spectacular. Uh, they were amazing. And um, yeah, very happy to do that. Nix is the bomb.com and um, very happy about that. So shout out Nix. They were amazing. Uh, and then I did uh, uh, this thing for these tailored brands. So prom season's coming up or yeah, prom season was coming up back in November. So in November of 2023, I got flown out to San Francisco and got to stay in a hotel that was like and um, I love when they put you in a hotel. You feel so bougie. I've only done it a couple of times, but like you feel so bougie. I love it. Uh, so I did that, and uh, that was just amazing as well. Um, that was uh, I was in San Francisco for four four days ish, something like that. Maybe four or five. No, I think four days. And did that, and you know they were amazing. You know the food was spectacular. Um, was in San Francisco, you know, they're taking care of us and that was great. Um, so that was for like men's warehouse, JC crew, like Calvin Klein, all of their suit division because prom was coming up. So the girls were wearing prom dresses. I was wearing suits and th that was an amazing shoot. It was fun. Um, you know, all the models were with all the models I worked with were great. That's when I started the, what do you mean? I started that with those guys. Um, I just had the idea when we were walking on the street, I was like, yo, TikTok is easy. Check this out. And I just started fucking Justin Bieber. Thank you. I'm back. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. And then I, uh, I think that's also when I was doing the guy you're talking to. I don't know. I was eating on TikTok though. Uh, and then was, what was after that? Okay. So I did that. And then I did a, a campaign for Ulta Beauty. So I shopped for Ulta Beauty in like Malibu and that was super cool. And um, yeah, that was great. And a lot of fun. And then, um, what am I missing? I think that's it, guys. Oh, yeah. So I did Ulta Beauty. That was fun. I got to shoot makeup. They were great. Food was great. Uh, yeah, food was actually spectacular. Actually, food was, like, really great. And then, um, okay. And then I did a, a showroom. Showroom is cool. So so I did a showroom for Burberry. So Burberry had me... Um, so what a showroom is... I didn't even know it was called this until someone's like, oh, yeah, you did a showroom. I was like, okay, I guess did a showroom. And they said that, um, I just got like so unmotivated out of nowhere. I'm like, what am I doing with my life? What am I? No, it's okay. Um, for Burberry showroom, basically for two, three days, two or three days, I would drive to the 
Burberry store in on Rodeo in Beverly Hills, and I would go hang out in their upstairs, like whatever, with like three other models. I would hang out in their like penthouse upstairs or for where they would take like private clients or whatever. And I would like hang out with the models there. And twice a day or two, three times a day, we would go down in the main room. They'd have like, you know, 25 of their like biggest clients or whatever, or like big important people to the brand. And first I was amazing experience. I loved working with Burberry. Um, I would go there and I would, uh, 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 they would do a mini fashion show. So they'd, sit the like 25, 30 people who were clients. They'd all sit there and they'd have the designer talking in front of them. And then we would do a little fashion show. So it'd be my cue. I'd walk up. I would stand right by the person and like pose and show off the bag. She was like in this bag and this thing. And I would do that. And I would walk away and everyone's like taking pictures of you. And I'm like looking in the crowd. I'm like kind of cracking a smile because I'm a head ass like that. And that was great. And that's where I got to wear these cool blue thing where I found my favorite piece ever. But it's this blue Burberry plaid coat. Oh my God. I'm just like, I want that thing so bad. I love that thing. But, um, that was that. And yeah, so that was spectacular guys. And yeah, so that was my, that was my modeling wrap 2023. Um, I didn't get signed and this just happened. You know, that was, I got signed in 2019 and in 2023 is when I had like a, a good year. Um, well, I, I think last year was good as well. I think I've had good years, a lot of good years. Well, I've had two good years. But um, so that's me as model. That's what I did. And yeah, well, I love you guys. You guys are the bomb.com. And I will talk to you later. Let me know about more modeling stuff. I'd love to talk about it. Koala Beanie, available on the website now. Swagnaver.com, pre-order available now. Go, go get yours. Love you guys. Bye. Be the person you wish you had in your life.